the Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took on Aspersia City's gym leader Sharon for the basic badge. In today's episode, we're going to proceed on to Verbank City like Bianca told us. Before we go any further in this little town, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the level ups. Nagini is now level 15, and Ace Row, our newly added Ryolu, is level 15 as well. Now, let me just go ahead and show you a little bit. The moves haven't changed for Nagini, but Ace Row did learn Force Palm, which is a very strong fighting type move, and it's going to come in very handy for us. Alright, let's keep on going then. The only other place I remember that we can go is that area where the big guy with the hat wouldn't let us through because we hadn't obtained the first badge. Now that we have the badge, we should be able to go on. Also, I picked up a couple repels in the shop because finally, the shop is now selling repels. I won't have to worry about a pit dub flying around, poking at my pants, making holes in my visor. Now I can just keep on going and enjoy the adventure. I think it was this way where that old man was. So let's just keep on going. I. Okay, Repel's Effect wore off. No, don't really read, need it right now. I actually like that feature a lot too. And look who it is. Hey! I'm sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex that I gave you. I'm going to have the Habitat list. It's an amazing feature. I'm just going to borrow your Pokedex for a second. Okay, so it looks like Bianca is just upgrading our Pokedex with one of those new features. It seems like you can tell which Pokemon live in which areas. Kind of cool. That could definitely help out later on if we're looking for certain types of Pokemon. When you're walking down a path, you'll sometimes see rustling grass. If you go to that spot, well, let the rest be a surprise. What's the surprise, Bianca? What's the surprise? Tell me. Tell me now. Because if I go in that grass and a huge Snorlax comes out and punches me in the face, you know who else is going to get smacked? I don't even know. Okay, let's keep on moving. I need to use another repel. I said uh, earlier, that little feature, kind of nice. I like it that the repels auto-renew themselves. Who would have thought? Oh, hey, it's this guy again. Hey, that gleaming thing there is the basic badge, but don't get a swelled head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. I'm guessing we have ourselves a battle. And there we go guys, we defeated this guy and we also learned Leaf Tornado for our Snivy. It's pretty sweet, I like that. Who is this creepy looking little kid on the beanie? I don't like him, I don't like him at all. Where are we supposed to be, oh? Rodri, wait! Come with me, you two! See the dark tall grass here? It's rare, but sometimes two Pokemon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokemon that hide in dark grass are slightly stronger, so be careful if you walk through. If you're gonna challenge the next gym, it's the Burbank Gym. These might help. Ooh, thank you for the berries. If it wasn't for the ones Alder gave us, I don't know if we could've beat you, Sharon. Here's some for you, Tommy. Both of you, do your best. If you need anything, call me on the X-Transceiver. All right, you know, I got your number. I'll shoot you a call if anything's needed. Sharon sure knows a lot, and he fought those Team Plasma Thugs, too. I've decided. I'm gonna get stronger than him. You should do your best. Fill up the Pokedex and have my back. Got it? We got it. We'll see you. What are you? Is he? Is he taking a whiz? Why? Why is he sprinkling the crops over here? Come on, man. Look at it. There's a little girl over here. Dude, why are you sprinkling? Oh my gosh. You know, sometimes, sometimes that Tommy. I, I can't. I don't even know. No shame. Sometimes, no shame. All right, let's keep on moving through here. Ooh, get ourselves a Pokeball. Uh, these days, I'm gonna try to collect as many items as possible because what I've noticed is that I usually have to go back for like a TM that I run by because I just, you know, tend to run through things in the game. Oh, look, it's twins. I like it. It looks like we're gonna have to battle them. Uh, so here we go. Well, look at us, two level 16 Pokemon. I think we're doing quite good. Hopefully the next gym won't be too difficult. And no, we don't need another repel. Let's keep on going. Hello, oh you. You are with two Pokemon, but if you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these. 
Oh, sweet. She gave us some great balls. What's up with these people being so courteous to us? I like it. I like the toll ladies, you know? Ooh. Oh, we're getting a call. Okay, who is it? Hi, it's your mom. Where are you right now? Wow, Food Bank City, there's a complex there, right? Have you been there yet? The way it looks at night is really quite nice, and you can also train your Pokemon there. You know your Pokemon can do some things, and you can do others. I hope you can all work together and accomplish amazing things. Thanks, Mom. Don't even let us get a word in. And we have made it to Furbank City? Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar Studios to live up my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. Get real. You're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're going to cause lots of trouble. Oh, dear daughter. You split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that, too. You did what a dense dumb daft dippy dorky doches doofus ding going to double duty isn't the trouble. You're causing problems for people, keeping people from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it. I'm going to the gym. Ooh, so it looks like we've already bumped into the gym leader. Kind of nice. I like it. Well, uh, we've made it here at nighttime, and I think we're going to be taking on the gym. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up, and then we should be ready to go. Hey, how's it looking, pretty lady? You know, this one time I heard this song. It was called, I am madly crazy, you know, without a doubt. Oh, not enough time? Not enough time, Nurse Joy? Why, why do you got to do this to me? Ah! <laughs> Breaking hearts, ladies. Breaking hearts. These Nurse Joys just... You know, they just, they treat me pretty bad, guys. You know, someday, someday we will bump into a nice Nurse Joy. Maybe in another region. We have made it to Verbank City's Pokemon Gym. We are going to be taking on the gym leader, Roxy. Poison days, poison on the stage. Okay, let's head inside then and see what all this fuss is about. Ooh, this is really nice. It's kind of like a underground club looking thing. This is the Pokemon Gym, and it's also a rock club. The gym leader and the others are practicing inside, but please, feel free to challenge all of them. Oh, you'll need to stay hydrated. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, thanks for the fresh water, my man. Keep it up. Let's head inside of the club, then. It is nighttime. It's about 8 p.m. Let's jam out. Wow. There's a... What is going on here? It looks like Roxy is jamming. It's too loud. She can't hear our voice. How about we take on these people, then? Maybe... Maybe she'll shush up a little bit. Let me go ahead and put Ace Row in front. I think he'll probably do some damage. And uh, let's go ahead and take on this first lady then. I can always be straight and honest with myself whenever I'm playing the guitar or having a Pokemon battle. All right, bring it on. Let's see what you can do. Hopefully it won't be too much because I just want some XP out of you so I can take down Roxy. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, as I was saying um, a couple days ago, I am finally back from El Salvador. So now I'm back home, I'm getting the chance to, you know, relax for a little bit, and it's really nice. I've thought about a lot of things this summer, and I've, I've actually talked to you guys about that, that, oh my gosh, I completely forgot that these moves aren't going to be effective. Um, that, you know, there were a lot of things that I wanted to do this summer, and I really feel like I had the chance to do them. I went on a road trip with my friend Chris. I had the opportunity to travel out of the country to go to El Salvador, and I got to hang out with a lot of different friends, and it was just a really nice summer. It's crazy how fast time flies by, but I'm actually really thankful that I had the opportunity to do so many things. It looks like we're about to take down this Venipede. Uh, this is a poison type gym, if I'm correct. So it's going to be a little tougher than we're used to, especially since we don't have a type advantage. And wow, that gave us like no XP. Are you serious? Okay, I was hoping for a little more there, but... I guess since we're both level 16, we won't be getting a lot of XP out of this. Oh, this one's only level 14. All right, let's go for the tackle. We should be able to take down the co- Holy mother. The boss of this gym is going to be tough. The gym leader is going to be one tough cookie. I wonder how much Leaf Tornado does on them. Let's give it a shot. You never know. Leaf Tornado could do a bunch of damage on these poison types. It does a decent amount. I mean, nothing crazy. Uh, but the poison's actually what's doing the most damage to us. Let's go for another one, then. Let's see how much this one's gonna do. I'm a little bit nervous to take on the gym leader. I did receive a lot of good tips from you guys, uh, on what I should do. So that's kind of what, why I kept Leer and Growth. Because I feel like if we can power up Nagini, we should be able to take it down quite nicely. There goes the coughing. And there, with that, that's not too bad. 
Now we, we gained some serious XP. Now let's go ahead and take on the other guy. We took down the bass player. Now we can take down the drummer, who's probably going to do the same thing. Oh, I should have healed up. What was I thinking? Oh, my goodness. I'm just getting myself into these tight spots, and I'm not even thinking about it. Uh, let's see what level this one is. Come on. 14. We might be able to take it down. I don't... I don't... I don't Maybe I'm gonna heal up. I think I have a potion in here. If anything, I'll probably buy a couple more before we even take on Roxy. You know, Roxy's probably gonna be really tough. Second gym leader in a short amount of time. Hasn't given us much time for like training and everything. All right, let's go for the huh counter. Actually, is no, it's not gonna do a whole lot because they, they don't do a whole lot to us. Dude, dude, don't disable quick attack. If you do, I'm done. If you disable quick attack, oh my gosh. All right. Let's switch out to Nagini then. We're both level 16, so we both should be able to do a decent amount of damage. You'd think a snake would be able to take down a Grimer. I'm just saying, guys. It makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? To a certain extent. Ooh, let's go for the growth. And then if anything, I can heal myself up. Growth will probably, you know, power us up pretty good. And then we can start using the rest of... If you disable... Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? I have to I have to heal myself up. I don't even have antidotes, I don't think, at this point. I'm definitely gonna have to pick up a lot of items before we get this going. Okay. Heal up Nagini. Look, Grimer isn't much. I hear Grimers. I'm not even gonna say what they are. Let's just say their uh their their final form gives it away. We're gonna go for the leaf attack. That uh, this should do a what? Oh my gosh, this gym is gonna suck! We're doing no damage to the this thing. It's cramming us. This is not going to be good at all. I think their tanks are our... Okay, so tackle is the move to use. Oh, well, well we're down. That, that's going to take us down. We're going to have to heal up. At least, at least Acero didn't go down. I did get a lot of tips from you guys telling me that I shouldn't take down Acero or shouldn't let Acero die uh, because we need to keep its faint because we need to keep its happiness up in order to evolve it. Uh, there we go. We have another coughing to take on. Oh, my fudging mother. Oh, my gosh, guys. This gym is not going to be fun for us whatsoever. Let's just keep spamming quick attacks and healing myself. Oh, that one, that one did a lot. A crit. Okay. I feel like we might be able to beat this guy right now. I don't know. Yes, I think we'll be able to take it down here with the next move if I can survive. All right. I'm going to risk it because I'm a ballsy guy. I'm going to risk it. Here we go. There we go. We took it down. If it doesn't have a third Pokemon, we have done it. We've also grown to level 17, which is great. With that, we defeated Roughneck Nikki. Okay, guys. So, Nagini is down. Before we take on Roxy, I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And I'll be back in a couple seconds. All right, guys. So, I went ahead and healed up our team. It looks like we are ready to take on Crazy Roxy, who looks like a very intimidating figure. I also gave each of them the Orin Berries. And now we are ready to take her on. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to her. Get ready. I'm going to knock some sense out of you. Here we go. Rodri versus Roxy, Burbank City's gym leader, the poison type trainer. This battle is on its way. We are challenged by leader Roxy and her two Pokemon. She's going to send out a coughing and I'm going to go ahead and open up with our Nagini. As you saw earlier, it looked like the tackle was doing quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to try to go for a little bit, you know, mix it up a little bit. I'm going to go for a couple leers, maybe even a growth, and if I can set up well enough, I'm just going to start taking down her Pokemon. It looks like she's trying to smog us up. She's, she's smogging. She's snogging. She's doing craziness. Oh, we are taking damage, though. I did also buy some antidotes and uh, a couple other items while we were at the shop. I bought a couple super potions and some antidotes. So hopefully that should come in handy once we get this going. Okay, we avoided the attack. We're only going to take some poison damage this time. And our Orin Berry has kicked in. I think we're looking good to strike. So let's go for a tackle then. And hopefully we can do some serious damage on this guy. You know what? That's a little bit better than I expected. And it looks like for now, we're only taking damage from the poison. I can feel you desire to win pouring out of you. Thanks. We're just going to keep tackling you and hope that we take you. Oh, holy crap. That one did a lot. I think. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to be a close call. Um, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for another tackle and hope that it takes it down. It has took down the coughing, which is really, really great. Uh, good for us. We also went up to level 17. What makes me a little bit nervous now, though, 
is that that wasn't its strongest Pokemon. Next up is Whirlipede, and for now, I... Oh, man. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep out Nagini for now, because the Super Potions will allow me to heal up a little bit, so I feel confident. It's not over yet! Time to turn this show around for victory! Alright, I'm gonna go for the Super Potion now. That should bring me back up to full health, and we'll see what this Whirlipede has to throw out at us. I'm a little bit nervous, but if I can use enough Leers on it and just, you know, keep myself going, I should be pretty decent against it. I have to heal myself up, though. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Antidote. I bought it for a reason. Let's go ahead and use it on Nagini. We're taking way too much damage, and Poison Sting only has the chance of actually doing that to us once in a while. All right, my basic strategy for this, I am gonna use as many Leers as possible to try and weaken it, and then we're gonna bring our uh, Ryolu Ace Row out here and hope that it can take it down because it looks like Whirlipede is probably going to be a little bit more tanky than I expect. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh man! That move did like 40 freaking damage! That's not good! Oh, at least we didn't switch out there. I'm going to just keep leering it and... We're gonna be in some trouble, guys. This Venice Shock does an insane, insane amount of damage to us. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't believe we're at this point. It's gonna come down. It's gonna come down to it. I'm just gonna keep healing up. Uh, you know, we still have the fresh waters too. And I think two or three more leers, and we should be able to take it down. At least I'm hoping for. Wow, that Veno Shock is insanely powerful. I never expected us to have to go up against a move like that i honestly thought we were just gonna take on a couple smogs you know a couple normal things here not this move that's insane all right uh, that's it i guess i think i'm faster than it <laughs> one more leer and then we're out and then it's time for ace row to come in here and see if we can do something all right wish us luck guys because uh it looks like our snivy is gonna be down for it and it's gonna come down to ace row uh, fingers crossed here. Let's hope we can do it. We are level 17, so we aren't outnumbered by that much. Let's give it a shot and hope for the best. I am going to go for the quick attack. I don't think, you know, our other attacks will do as much. We'll see how much Vino Shock does right here. Let's hope, let's hope we can tank it out. I really do. Holy mother. Holy mother. You know what? We're faster than it. That's the problem, though. What? Okay. Yeah. Protect that time. Protect that time when I'm about to crap on you. Maybe this time it'll hit us. Okay, if we can tank it out this time. Oh, man, I'm nervous. All right, all right. Our Orin Berry kicked in. And uh, let's finger cross. What? How did counter fail? That's absolutely ridiculous. That does not happen. How does counter fail? No freaking way. No way counter fails. How? Whatever. This is this is messed up. This is not right. This is this is messed up. Oh, how much damage does Face Palm do? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Looks like the Vino Shock is probably gonna take us down. Oh man, that thing is absolutely ridiculous on damage, and uh, we don't really have anything too crazy super effective on it. I'm also guessing that Roxy still has a Super Potion in her midst, so that's gonna be even more fun there to use. Okay, here we go. Let's hope that... Okay, that wasn't bad. Uh, I'm hoping for a crit here, guys. Cross your fingers. That's all we really have left at this point is, is hoping for a crit and then that we can basically be faster than it next time. Oh my gosh! I hit a crit! What? Holy mother! I'm psychic! I'm psychic! Holy crap! Oh! <laughs> Suck on that, Roxy! We defeated Leader Roxy! Wait, I was right in the middle of the course! We got 2160 for winning! No way that just happened! And Snivy is evolving! What just happened? Oh! 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 <laughs> Suck on that, Roxy! Oh! oh man, that was freaking awesome! Congratulations! Our Nagini evolved into Servine, and we got an evolution. I can't breathe. Sai, what are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong. That stinks, but I gave it everything I had, and I feel revitalized and refreshed now. Here, prove that you beat me. And there
there we go, guys. With that, we have obtained the Toxic Badge. That is our second out of eight badges here in the Unova region. Six more to go. So there we go, guys. We received the Toxic Badge from Roxy. Two badges! That Pokemon up to level 30, even Pokemon you got in trades will realize how good you are and won't ignore your commands. Also, here, use this TM. Hey, we obtained TM09 Venushock. Nice, I'll take that. TM09 Venushock, it covers a target in a special poisonous liquid. Even better, if your target's already poisoned, it doubles damage. Hehe, <laughs> it almost packs too much of a punch. You know what else packs too much of a punch? Us! Your Pokemon wanted this win. Keep on going on like this and do all sorts of stuff. So there we have it, guys. And, whoa, who's this? Hey you, I felt like you were something special during your battle with Roxy. Please come with me to Pokestar Studios. Alright guys, so it looks like next time we will be going to Pokestar Studios. You going to Pokestar Studios? Oh, I forgot. Oh man, I have to get him back to work as a captain. Alright, see you guys later. There's a lot of strange things happening here, but it looks like we have obtained our second badge, the Toxic Badge, in an insane way. I... I didn't expect that to happen, guys. I have no idea. Sometimes I just have psychic moments. I'm not even kidding you. There's some times where I can just predict things, and that was one of them. All right, guys. We just lucked out. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.